Good evening, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Partsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. And welcome to Four Cards and Friends. So what this is going to be kind of is a safe place for us crafty folk, creative people to get together and um, chit-chat mostly. Uh, while I create four different cards using one stamp set so it'll just give you a bunch of ideas that you can give you can try and also if you don't have this stamp set of course there's ways you can get it get it tonight's stamp set is actually retiring never fails never fails it's Kevin do you notice anything Hello, Megan. <laughs> Just rah above the dogs. Do you have dogs? I can't remember. I can't remember. So when you hop on, say hello, tell me where you're from, and let's get the chit chat and started. <laughs> yep, that's Breezer, the loud one's Breezer. The that's Bud. <laughs> he makes the weirdest of noises. So today's stamp set is Apron of Love. I suppose you can't see that when you're on this screen. You know, it's one of those ones that I have used in the past. It's an older set, but I kind of, you know, forgot about it because of course you get all these new items and you get playing with all these new things and you forget about some of these old, old items. So it's kind of fun to get them out and play. Hi, Karma, I'm doing well, how about you? You're all done your pet sitting. You can have a little, we can relax now, hey? Yes, I have a spoiled brash, brat dachshund. Ah, yes, a little puppy too. Does it whine and cry or is it a barker? I don't know, we've got both. <laughs> but yes, so this stamp set, I'm actually, I, I wanted to keep playing with it this afternoon. Um, I, I kind of worked all day on the cards that I would show this afternoon and I kind of, you know, I wanted to keep going. Hi, Lisa. Thank you. Yes, my necklace. It is from a designer here in Canada from, uh, um, from Quebec. His name is Christophe Pauly. And where I first found his stuff was actually in Jerome, Arizona in this little, little, have you, have you, has anyone been to Jerome, Arizona? <laughs> it's this neat artsy community that's quite up a mountain and there's so many neat, uh, it's, it's got the artsy vibe. I really like it. So, um, yeah, I first found him there. I, I got a few rings, which now don't fit me. The gain did of weightage. Ugh. Anyways, uh, yes. And then I found him his ne a necklace so I got that this little apron set I might regret not having it it's so cute it you know it really is and you don't have to use the apron which is I'm going to show you a little bit later today um, so you, that doesn't even have to be the focus which is kind of fun all right oh he barks at the wind <laughs> hi Martin Tin. <laughs> I got I gotta get it right Pooped getting ready for the apartment commun community yard sale. Oh boy. We've actually asked um, the condo, I'm a part of this condo social committee and we've actually asked the condo board if we could do a yard sale kind of like that too. So you never know, there's lots of logistics and hoops you have to jump through, right? So anywho. All right, let's move on to our first card. So good that you girls are on here already. So give me thumbs up or hearts if you have um, this stamp set. I'm just curious. So of course when I, when I thought of the apron set, I thought, oh, this would be wonderful for Mother's Day. Right, Mother's Day is coming up. That's generally who who wears the apron in our house and er, my family, anyways. Um, my parents. Our Kevin and our relationship is kind of <laughs> opposite. He cooks. He he's an amazing cook. He makes the best soup 
ever and he knows how to work work that instant pot like nobody's business um, he cleans because I'm kind of not a cleaner and I he gets after me a lot for that hi Christine nice to meet you 1104 a.m. in Australia Wow that's so neat how it, there's that huge time difference so yes this this is what I thought of when I thought of my mom but I I thought well no I've already got her a Mother's Day card so I thought well you know there's people that give me amazing baking not my skill at all and I would love to have a neat card that could you know be a thank you card for those people. So that is what I'm going to make with this first card. Let's get rolling. Now I know this snail tape is going to run out right away. This paper is, is Kevin still watching Killer Wives? Yeah. <laughs> I told, you know what I told, I said he loves, oh, what's that show? Oh, this is us. He loves that show. I can't stand it. It's too sappy. It's too sad. There again, you know, like, I like the killer crime shows, you know. Hi, Wendy. And so I said, well, just go watch, you know, This Is Us, because I, I really don't care if I see it. But he said, no, we got to watch it together. So, so, yeah, he'll probably watch his killer women. <laughs> All right, so this one's out. If you've never seen this, oh, you probably need to see my screen, don't you? Whoops, Calypso Coral. Coral. So if you, if you didn't know, our um, snail tape is, you can just buy the refills and keep on rolling. So Calypso Coral, and this piece, I'm Ukrainian, so I cut things out of the center when I'm using a layer. Hi, Angie. Hi, Chrissy. Yes, you guys in your morning. Oh. It's evening here 7 p.m. the day before that's so funny all right so happiness blooms I think it's so pretty and but it's bright and I as most of you know I'm not really a bright person I'm kind of more the soft settles so the way you can calm things down is you know put a white piece of paper over top of it right you can't stand it yet I'm crafting after I do a few things. Oh, nice. Hi, Karen. So, yes, craft along with me if you want. I love that. It's like we're all sitting in our craft rooms together and, you know, getting stuff done. Kind of having our own crafting retreat. That's, or at least that's the way I want it to be. <laughs> all right. So, there's my Whisper White piece. And now I'm going to use my lovely lipstick. I cut out that with one of the, the largest square framelits. Those stitched framelits are, oh. And of course they've come out with some label stitched framelits in the new catalog. So those are going to get lots of wear as well. All right, so now I've got that. Um, one of the, some of the items that you get in the framelits are this die here that cuts out your shape of the apron which I love I didn't to be honest I didn't use this um, stamp at all um, I prefer to just cut the piece out it's very flimsy I will say that so it's kind of you know it's you're at its mercy that it's you know straight I know you're supposed to just lay it down and then put your block on top of it that's a little hint if uh, you didn't know that um, also to make sure it's kind of lined up you want to kind of you know make sure it's working with the framelit but like I say to be honest I didn't use that that's okay so there's that framelit. I used that and I cut that out. So now I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to decorate the apron with these little strings. 
So the strings are this little framelit here. It's kind of a, a two for one. Happy what? Oh, I've never heard of that. Hi, Chris, by the way. What's an Anzac Day? <laughs> Am I out to lunch? Is this an Australian thing? And I also did some little bows, which also come in a framelit like so. I'll watch later visiting right now. No worries, Janet. I'm always here. <laughs> I'm here at your convenience. And the little um, piece that goes around your neck. Come on. It's just a little, little you. Hi, Michelle. I very rarely catch you live. Oh, well, welcome. Lots of people on tonight. And then I have this. A little piece here which they even have two heart sizes for framelits which I think it's great now I'm sure I had the little white um, hmm, thing that goes on the apron Did it fall somewhere hidden over here. So there's this little piece that goes on top of your apron with the little, yes, in memory of our soldiers. Okay. All right. The planes just flew over your house again. Wow. Okay. Hi, Jen. From Ball and Archery. Oh my goodness. See, look at these little cutouts, the little lacy kind of piece for the apron. I think it's so cute. So that's going to go on there. Uh, but before I do that, I'm actually going to stamp this saying, which is kind of cute. So I'm using this little stamp and spot, thanks to Sandy. And actually, I'm going to, because it's polymer, you, it's best if you use the foam mat. All right, so this little saying fits right in the apron pocket, which is kind of cute. So do they do the, the plain things as um, like a memorial kind of idea? I am like out to lunch when it comes to that. I'm sorry, that's interesting. You PM'd me to thank you oh, for the love. Thank you. Yes. I'm glad you got your card. So it says, thanks for being there in a pinch. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to place that on there. And so that's going to basically be my sentiment. It's a little thank you card. So let's glue that on with the snail. And now to add all these little decorations. I think I'm going to put the heart. Come on. I clipped my nails. Now I can't, you know, pick anything up. Oh, it's a national day of remembrance in Australia and New Zealand that broadly commemorates all Australians and New Zealanders who served and died in all wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations, and the contribution and suffering of all who have served. So is that how you say it? Anzac Day is a commemorative day for all servicemen and servicewomen of all forces and defense. The original Anzac is from the 1915 battle at Anzac Cove in wherever in Turkey. They're killing me with the stamp set. It's so adorable. Do you also observe Remembrance Day as well? Good question, Sandy means Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Oh, okay. You do have Remembrance Day also. Interesting. I learned something new tonight. That's awesome. I'm going to put this little heart up here. Of course, it's my gingham gala paper. Sadly, it's retiring. 
now I'm just going to put a little strip of snail on the back and I'm going to place this little U. Totally missed the edges. <laughs> there. So it makes like the little, you know, round your neck business. Oh, naggy dog already started, hey? No worries. Yes, this, that's how we say it. Okay, very neat. Thanks for sharing that. That's, that's very interesting. So for these apron sprint strings, I'm just gluing them on the back. I'm not sure why I cut out three. <laughs> Maybe in case I lost one, I don't know. And then I'm going to put these little ribbons. As you can see, I'm just using snail. You could use glue dots, you could use the liquid glue. Um, you could use the multi-purpose adhesive sheets. <laughs> and they are also retiring, so if you like those, get them now. All right, now I'm just going to attach that, I think with dimensionals, because it's kind of cute when you pop things up, right? Adds a little bit of an excitement. Okay, oopsie. <laughs> let's try that again. I think, well, let's go one more. Yes, that's how you say it. It sounds okay. Kingham Gala is retiring, but you still have the Buffalo chat. It's check stamps it. I sure do. <laughs> that I will never get rid of. Unless they come up with something, you know, even more fancy or something. This is the first time I've seen this set being used. Really? Oh, I'm glad you get to see it. Because not only does it make a bunch of apron things, but it makes other things as well. So isn't that cute for a first card? I tipped it, tilted it, but it could have been straight up and down. Totally up to you. It almost needs something right there. I'm going to say there is a little stamp set that says Mom. I think I'm going to use that. Let me grab a little block. Just to kind of fill up that little spot. Sandy, thank you for these little uh, ink spots. Did you see what I did the other, what I did? I bit the biscuit bu bu bullet. I don't know. Bucket croaked. I don't know what I did. I bought the new in color ink pads. I know the world may be coming to an end, but I did it. So, no more playing around with the stamp and rate markers. Yeah, the new DSP for color groups has a gingham check in the pack. Yes, it does. I noticed that because I was thrilled when I saw it. All right, so that is my card. I like that I added that little piece. I'm dinging here. Um, here's what I did for the inside of the card. So there are little um, oven mitts. Thank you. Thanks, Angie. Little oven mitts, framelits. Um, and of course, I used the heart stamp. And then there are the cutest little stamps. I just, I think they're so adorable. Look at this, the little utensils. So I just had them sticking out of the gingham gala. So let's add that onto the center of our card. Like so. And for the envelope, what I decided to do was use that little pocket and um, stick the little pieces out. And then look at, made with love. Isn't that cute? And then for the flap, I just did a bunch of the hearts. Isn't that great? Oh my, you crazy girl, but you will get to love them for two years. I know, I know. Thank you everyone for the comments. I thought it was just, I think it's cute. I just, I just, it's adorable. So of course this could be for anybody. This could be for somebody who gives you baking, like I said. This could be, uh, you know, thank you for your mom. And of course, so many different options with the a um, neat uh, apron. Oh, I'm telling you. I don't know why I didn't play with this one much earlier. Okay, next card. Look at me go rolling along here. 
this one was inspired by, oh, there's my other little, by Eva Grawler. Grawler. I like the inside made or otherwise it looks unfinished and the envelope. Yes, I've gotten on the bandwagon to, you know, decorate the insides and the envelopes. Thanks, Martine. So, this one's got a lot of little pieces. So I put it in a Ziploc bag, a little Ziploc. Actually, I reuse them for when other products come with, like the ribbons sometimes come in a little Ziploc container. So here we go. I'll show you this and this later. All right. Knight of Navy. Hi, Lois. It's uh, cute and very bright and happy looking. Uh, yeah, it is. So this is the uh, classic garage uh, designer series paper. So you may notice the back side. This one is, of course, the other side. And to me, it looks kind of like cement. And so for this one, I'm trying to give it a little bit more of a masculine vibe. Hopefully I succeed at that. <laughs> no worries, Michelle. Don't, don't worry. I, you can always catch me on the replay if you want. All right, so I'm just going to, hoo hoo Just going to glue this down on the kind of the top third of the Knight of Navy. Here are all the pieces. There. Okay, so I've cut a lot of things out ahead of time because who wants to sit here and watch me? Yeah. I love how Stampin' Up! has brought so many beautiful people into my life when I really needed it. I was just talking to Lisa about this yesterday. It's so true. And, you know, like... I, were you at on stage when Sarah was talking about that? I'm going to cry. When Sarah was talking about the, you know, the statistics of how many people don't have close people that they can go to if a crisis hits or people who don't have friends at all. And um, I was one of those people for a long time. And until, you know, I met a lot of people through Stampin' Up! And I mean... Stampin' Up! people are amazing people. They are crafting people are amazing people. They're very um, giving and just just kind folk, I find. Or maybe it's just the ones I've met. I don't know, but I've been so fortunate. And I, I had first started when I uh, actually was going through my like severe clinical depression. And so Stampin' Up! was my... And it continues to be like my purpose, right? Giving cards, giving, making somebody's day. When you bless somebody else, you in turn, right? Get blessed, which is crazy, but it happens. Um, yeah. And so it gave me a reason to get up every morning. And, you know, I would have loved to have hibernated uh, the entire time. Uh, but getting up. I had to get up because people were coming to my house to make cards and so it kept the social connection going which when you're having a depression as some of you know it's just easy to lie down and stay there so yes I am so grateful for Stampin' Up! Um, okay so I just put a piece of wood grain across it'll be kind of act like a shelf to all Aussies and Kiwis watching on here wishing you a happy and safe Anzac Day if you're going to be playing to up this afternoon good luck to up another thing I'm going to learn what does that mean we have and ink in our vein we have love and ink in our veins I'm going to say catch you later all right we'll talk to you later Sandy so one of the framelits, as you can see, is a cute little rolling pin. So of course I used my favorite designer series paper, that wood textures, to use this little, to make this little rolling pin. And I'm just gonna put it up on the shelf. Sitting up there. Next, I have my little oven mitts, which I'm going to hang kind of from the shelf there. Now. I don't know, there's one framelit. Now Sandy Peters also taught me this. 
there's one framelit and the finger goes one direction. So you can have, oops, if you cut two of them out, the fingers are both gonna be going, the, the thumbs, pardon me, the thumbs are gonna be going the same direction. If you flip your designer series paper over, cut it through that way, next thing you know, you have mitts that are going the right direction. Thank you, Sandy Peters. Yes, yes. I know I had a, some, I don't know what I was doing one time, and I'm like, there's only one framelit. And so Sandy, you know, gracious self, you know. Well, dear, <laughs> you just need to flip your paper over. Aussie gambling game using two coins. Oh, my. Sounds fun. All right, so now here comes those adorable little utensils. What I would have loved to have used was the silver foil or that galvanized paper. It was on the clearance rack and I was totally gonna order it, but guess what? I missed out. I didn't do it right away when I first saw it and I missed out. So what I thought to give it a little bit of sparkle was, let's use our wink of Stella. So I left this one blank so I could show you. So the metal part, I just used a uh, smoky slate and then I'm just gonna color the Wink of Stella on it. That'll give it a little bit of shine and shimmer, right? And then to make the handles a little more exciting, I'm using my blender pen, Night of Navy. So cute. Love it. And for this little brush, I use the um, Only Legal to Play on Anzac Day. Get out. Wow. So I made this into one of those, you know, barbecue brushes. So I drew some little bits on that and my wooden spoon and my spatula and the rest to have all the wink of Stella. So let's start assembling. I think I'm going to lay things out here just so I kind of know where I might like, where things might look the best. Now this one doesn't have a handle, so let's go like that. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have clipped my nails. Can't pick anything up. So there are kind of um, barbecue more utensils and more cooking utensils. So of course you can kind of Pick which ones you prefer or just go with them all like I'm doing. All right, I'm going to glue those on. Those teeny utensils are so cute, aren't they? Oh, they're just like little Barbie items or something. And not hard to cut out. It's hard to pick up when you have no nails. I'm going to have glue everywhere. The little tongs. <laughs> so cute. Oh, butt hair. other end so we don't run out of room. I feel so guilty now seeing these wonderful cards as I've never used this set at all. <laughs> I know. I had put it away. I had made cards in the past with it and you know you just get busy with the other new sets and you forget about these good oldies. food bud that you're munching on he likes to eat his brother's food of course hi Janice okay there we go so all those little utensils are hanging 
<laughs> on the hay from the little shelf. And so what I thought I would do is use a little piece of ooh, maybe the wood green texture, wood texture paper and kind of use the saying that it comes with, which is made with love. Absolutely adorable. I can't wait to share it with you. It'll be my last card. <laughs> All right, so made with love. I think I'll just glue it down. All right, left side, middle, or right side? Let's hear what you think. Should I place this left, middle, or right? You didn't get this set either, eh, Janice? Yeah, I know, it's so cute. So neat. Okay, left, right, center. Would the utensils be easy to do on a sticker sheet? Yes, absolutely. Because a lot of them, you would use the same sort of color. So, absolutely, that's a good idea. <laughs> I, I forget about the adhesive sheet. I don't know why. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. Whoa, back up, back up. Got it right, right, left, left. Right, left. <laughs> okay, we need a tiebreaker. Oh, we got, this was my right. Right, I think. Going to the right. Nobody said center. Interesting. I would have I would have picked center. Oh, we got another right. Okay, right it is. We are going over there. Made with love. So it could be the cards made with love, or the oh, we got lots more right. Okay, right it is. Sorry, lefties. <laughs> Okay, so there's my card. And for the inside, I used this same Bingham Gala. I had a little strip left over plus a little piece of the wood grain. And then there's this cute little stamp that says Baked with Love. And of course, that framelit cuts it out. So there we go, that's what we're gonna have on the inside. Making a big mess. I'm gonna have glue everywhere. Like so, on the inside. And then for the envelope, I decided to stamp those little utensils all the way across there. And I had a little bit of extras, like so, to put on the flap. You love the, love the card one. You like the first card better than the second card? Is that what you mean? All right, so that's our second card. Isn't it cute? On to number three. A bit late for me to fall in love with this set now. <laughs> mm-hmm, I know, I know. All right, so I don't normally do 3D things and this class, we're gonna have two 3D things. I was having lots of fun this afternoon, I tell ya. All right, I'm actually going to need that night of me. Okay. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, Nancy Novak, I've got this uh, idea from. I want to give her credit, of course, wood textures. I also have this little piece of Knight of Navy. Um, so what this was, was it's supposed to sit on a, a bottle of barbecue sauce. This is going to be kind of male slanted Father's Day kind of idea, right? So, so, it's, so it sits on 
or you can make this for wine, of course, a bottle of wine. I don't drink, so it doesn't ever cross my mind. But uh, yeah, I thought it was so cute on the barbecue sauce. So I kind of changed things up to make it my own, but I definitely got the idea from Nancy. So here we go. Let's add this piece to the front. Like so. And here are all my little pieces that I cut out again. So I have a piece of Whisper White. And what I'm gonna do is there is a little stamp in there that says, I love barbecue. Hi, Alice. Good thing I'm wearing black. I think Bud wants to come up and say hi to everyone. Mm -hmm. Do you, Bud? Come see. Come see. Yeah. <laughs> Don't lick me in the mouth. That's gross. Here he is. Here's Mr. Oh, you blend in with my shirt. Yes. See? That's Bud. Yes. You and all your little hairs. Get, in all, get sent in all my cards, don't they? Yes, they do. I saw somebody post on the demonstrator website. They got a little black chihuahua and it looks exactly like him when he was a little boy. Whoopsie. Let me get this back here. There we go. So he's saying hello. <laughs> oh yeah, we got butt hair. Okay. So yes, I love barbecue. So I wanted to kind of stamp this randomly. Now this would work amazing with the Stamparatus. I'm too lazy to get that out, if I'm being honest. So I'm just gonna stamp in rows. Now if you want, you know, perfect rows, definitely use the Stamparatus. I'm not that picky. So it's just gonna kind of be the background a little bit of wallpaper kind of idea. I love barbecue. We had these amazing burgers from the farmer's market from Calgary. They were turkey. But they had like mango in them. And another one had apple and sun-dried tomato. Oh, was it good? And they were so moist. Because normally, you know, turkey sometimes a little dry, but they were very good. So we'll definitely be getting more of those. What's your favorite item to barbecue? I'm curious to see what the Australians barbecue. Because I found out that you guys eat shark last time. I had no idea. Yeah, so I'm curious. What do you guys like to barbecue? Please don't say kangaroo. <laughs> Maybe you do, I don't know. He's tiny with a loud bark, yes. It's it's actually Breezer who's the barker. Yeah, but just kind of cries and makes funny noises. <laughs> He's our crier. So everything, he, when he wants something, he starts his whining. And like if his blanket isn't laid right in his bed, he starts to cry and that tells you, okay, mama, you gotta fix my blanket. And he loves to go under the blanket. So if it's not, you know, just so, he can't get under there. So, and you know, I knew it as soon as we, <laughs> as soon as I saw him, because his, we got him from a pet store. Oh, ah! bad, bad. That's Breezer. We got him from a pet store and um, as soon as, because his little friend in his cage got bought, adopted, and he was left there and he was crying and crying and crying. He was so sad, like, where my where's my friend? And so we got him. And as soon as I took him out, he was crying and crying and crying. Oh my word, what have I done? <laughs> so he is a cracker. All right. Let's put that little layer onto our wood grain paper. I see lots of food. I'm curious to read here. I'm just going to glue this down and then I'll do some reading. Okay. Oh. Okay, back up. 
Very good. Here we go. Steak, ribs, sausages, crayfish. Oh my. Rump steak and chicken winglets. Wingets. Wingets? I don't know what a wing it is. I'm going to guess that that's like chicken wings. Our chicken wings. Kangaroo is a great meat. No fat at all on it. Oh, so there is such a thing. Actually, yeah, I think I know that. There is a fondue place just close by here, and I'm sure they serve kangaroo. Now, I've never tried it, but wow. Some people do eat kangaroo, but not me. Oh, you don't like it? Can't beat a sausage on the barbecue. Very rich, like emu. emu. Wow, you guys, you guys are adventurous. I've never tried emu, emu either. Hmm. You learn all sorts of things, don't you? All right, so here's the apron. And here's a little piece that you can cut out for the little pocket. But before I glue that pocket on, I wanted to stamp. Where is it here? This stamp, I don't know if you can see it, but it says best, and then it has a little space, and then it says ever. So I thought of using the, the um, what is this, Mossy Meadow. For the best in ever. So it'll just be kind of hidden there in the background. And then for dad, people eat crocodile as well. Yes, I have seen that at the fondue place. I remember that. Never tried it though. I need to, I need to be adventurous and try some of these things. Goodness, go through life without, you know, doing some of these things. Okay, so your choices are you can fill that center of the best ever with dad, which I'm doing here, or mom or friend, which is great. And then of course, like I used on that, that first card, you can just use those words like mom, dad, friend. <laughs> so in that respect, it's kind of neat. All right, now I was going to stick, come on these little utensils which again are in gray but I colored them with the mossy meadow blender pen as oh did I do the no I didn't do wink of Stella that's oh sheesh let's get the wink of Stella because it's just cute you are really being educated today about Ozzy I am that's so neat it's so amazing how you know we all live on the same planet but we're just so different in so in like so many different ways. So many different traditions, so many different days that we celebrate. Got my take your pick tool today. Hey, good job, Alice. Have you, have you played with it yet? I'm glad you got that. Cr prawns on the Barbie, okay. I had crocodile once, tasted like fishy chicken. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. Fishy chicken. I thought everything tasted like chicken. <laughs> no. no. I did eat frog legs one time. Eh. They like chicken. Okay. Man. I don't know. I can't turn anything over with my nails today. So I'm just putting some snail on the back. And let's add some no how did this how did we do this oh i forget i think i had one like that just kind of hanging oopsie hanging out of the pocket which i'm going to cut off that back piece because you don't want, don't want it sticking out from the pocket let's get rid of that and here's the brush to put on the barbecue sauce with. And what I thought was, why couldn't we cut the brush and make some bristles? Might make it look like a broom. <laughs> Who cares? Okay. Brush and the flipper. And a little over on this side. Man. There. So then we can 
put those in the pocket. I add a little more snail to the back of those two rolls to make sure they stick. Let me see on there. Now I have, oh yes, Stampin' Up! has a chalk marker. I'm trying it now. Um, it's white. To be honest, I don't love it. So I've actually got this one. It actually goes on glass. I wanted to make some stitching on this apron. So remember back in your scrapbook days, maybe, well, you still probably do, when you used to outline things with the little dashes. That's what I'm gonna do in hopes that it looks like stitching. Probably should have done that first. Let's get rid of that little piece. So it's actually meant for glass or windows, but I really like it on the paper. It shows up nicely. Where a lot of them kind of, the white pens, they kind of soak into the paper and they don't stay nice and vibrant. That's what I find anyways. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna outline the pocket as well. So let's lift up this utensil. gonna go to there okay let's add some <laughs> snail to this little guy so that he sits down there okay that's I think all I'm gonna do now I did cut out this little piece I'm not really sure what it's for yeah I think I'll put it there uh, yeah. you love using the chalk marker yeah I like it oh you like my scissors yeah they're dollar store scissors and they kind of cut like it <laughs> Let's look for that. I love the fake stitching effect. Yeah, just makes, add a little something to it, hey? All right, and let's add the apron neck piece. Did it again. I didn't get right to the edges where the, that's where the little pieces kind of attach. There we go. Oh, so cute. All right, so then I was just going to put that on there. I think dimensionals. Of dimensionals. I'm just going to kind of put them over top a little bit of those, <laughs> missed it totally, of those apron strings. Let's go with that. Oh, it's so cute. Love it. Okay, so there's our little piece that you'd hang on the barbecue sauce. Is that little piece a pocket from the a for the apron? I don't know. It came in the, in the framelits. I'm not really sure what it's deal is for. Like a pocket, like on the sides maybe. Like to have a little, a little pocket and a little pocket. Probably apron strings. Did I make apron strings? I did not. However, we could stamp some. They do have the stamp for apron strings. We can give that a try. Let's see. manly people would want, you know, apron strings. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to mask that one piece because I don't want it going on to anywhere other than that. Actually, I've got my little sticky note. Anywhere other than the white piece of paper. So just mask it. What am I doing? <laughs> Apparently, hmm, the white showing. So 
me see. There. There. It's pockets for the other pocket, like on the first card. Yeah, I think I think you know how you could have it a little I think but like on the first card. What do you mean here? Like a pocket for on here? Oh. I did see somebody else on Pinterest have it up here, so that's why I just thought, okay, let's let's use that little piece. But uh, I'm sure there's multiple ways that you can use it. There. Got some apron strings. Now, because I want to use this as a Father's Day item, um, I wanted a place to be able to write. So I made a little back piece and I just used that Made With Love stamp set that we used before. But I used my stamp and write markers trick is to color in the words with what color you want and um, give it a good little to re-ink to rehydrate everything and then stamp you can do that with flowers Whoa. the stamp set has multiple kind of flowers you can color each flower well, I obviously it's not wet enough you can color each flower individually oh I love it it's so cute Mobile phone pocket, yes. I hope we don't have to choose a favorite as they are so wonderful. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> I like that, that's fun. I've never made one of these before. I, I will make more for sure. So this one doesn't have an envelope, so moving on. All right. Isn't that door? Oh, my Lanta. So I got this little Stampin' Up piece from our grid paper. So there's one on each side. So I cut that out, cut out the little apron, and I made it into a little box. And I'm actually making a little surprise for my downline um, people on my team who have placed an order this month. So I'm going to be putting some little items in the the treat part and sending that on its way so there you go you can make a stampin up apron you could make a little apron for your hair stylist using the little scissors I was wondering you could probably use like for a comb um, like why not use this but cut it off I don't know if you can see that so if you just cut it off it would look like you know a three pronged Kind of an idea for a hairstylist um, mom just for treats daycare worker whatever I mean there's so many options with this so what the next one I'm going to be do, what I'm going to show you here is one that I thought you know if you had a teacher for a teacher or if you had like an art instructor um, that's what this one's going to be for and I got out the brand new paper. Oh, I don't even remember its name. The designer series paper that has the little pieces, the little paint brushes and whatnots on it. And I cut those out and I'm going to put that in the pocket of the apron. Cute. All right, so I'm going to leave one of these for later. Move this over. And my first thing I think I'm going to do is glue the apron pocket down. Um, did I not want to stamp something on here? I know there's I Love Stamping. I must not have. Oh, was I gonna do friend? Hmm. I can't remember. Maybe I wasn't going to do anything. And 
no, I just made this this afternoon. <laughs> my brain still doesn't know what I was going to do. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so there's my little apron with the pocket. So now, artists, I don't know if you've seen, but their aprons are absolutely filthy. So I thought, okay, let's get some splatter on the apron. And by doing that, of course, I'm going to use my stamp and blends. And using the paintbrush side, let's flick some paint splatter. I'm using Flirty Flamingo. And I'm going to use Calypso Coral. Maybe a little too much there. <laughs> Which set has a Stampin' Up! logo? I, none. What I used was the grid paper. So I just cut this little piece out and put it on the apron. So it's from the grid paper. Yeah, cute. I'll show you another one I did later, a different version. But, yes. Okay, get some yellow on there. It needs a dark color. You know, look, there, I have the Knight of Navy. Let's go with that. Yeah, that looks better. All right, and then I'm going to attach this little piece here. What was I doing? I shouldn't have glued that pocket down. I have to put the utensils in it. Oh, I should have used my tooth or my dental floss. Oh, thankfully it came up okay. All right, let's add these utensils. I don't know if they'll all fit or not, but. Putty knife and the paint brushes. Oh, cute. I tried to cut out different, uh, different colors. Ooh, little paint brush here. Of course, this works good for those, those little pieces that are kind of hanging off the edge that you don't have the full item for. Is that a putty knife? Do I need that? Sure, why not? Okay, a little farther now, so it doesn't look like a big knife. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's so cute. Man. I wonder just to distinguish between the apron and the pocket, we could use dimensionals. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Or I was thinking I could use a dauber and kind of go around the hair, uh, go around the hair, I'm reading hairdresser, go around the pocket. That could work too. Just use dimensionals, which I put right here. Okay, so what does that say? You could cut the roller off the brayer as a hair roller for the hairdresser. Love it, love it. How brilliant is that? All right. There, that stands out a little more. I like it. Okay, can I even take that piece off? No. Why it's not sticky. Oh my word, cute. So for the back apron, the back, I'm not gonna bother with the being all fancy schmancy with it. It's just kind of the back. You could put, you know, your, a little saying like thank you or um, I don't know, you could write a message, what have you. You're awesome. Okay, so now I have my little box. I'm so good at this. <laughs> I have a little piece here that's going to kind of turn into a box. So I'm just going to kind of put all the, um, press on all the little flaps just to make sure they're all bendy and cooperative. I should be using my bone folder. Let's get it out for the last one. Just finished grocery shopping. Oh, no worries. There's always the replay. Okay, so now I'm going to glue um, these pieces. So I just cut up the two sides 
tool to make kind of a little box here. You want the, um, the flaps on the outside so that way the inside is nice and uninterrupted. Okay, now let's do that again. I know exactly who I'm going to give this card to. She helped me make my three sisters mountain painting. Okay, and then all you do is glue your apron on the front and your apron on the back of the little box. Isn't that adorable? You use hair and tape, of course, or multi-purpose glue. You know what I was wondering is if you know the two, how big is this? Of course I have the centimeter side up. It is two inches. You know what would fit in there, right? The little cellophane bag, I'm gonna go this way this time. I'll get a little more glue on. The cellophane bags, so if you put little treats in there, these are two by eight so if you put little candies in here and then tied it with a ribbon that would fit in there perfectly something like so yeah and tie it with a little ribbon sorry you can't see there we go that'd be cute nifty all right, so there's my little artist apron. And the back will just be plain. And my little, I still like this one. This is so, so cute. My little Stampin' Up. Could use a tag topper punch if it didn't, uh, if didn't have this set maybe. Yes. Yeah. I don't see why not. I mean, just... Okay, so there's bottle stamp set is too narrow. Hmm, I'd have to think about that. But yeah, I'm sure you could rig something up. Okay, so there's our four cards that we made tonight. But I also made a few extras because, like I said, I couldn't stop playing. So these are a few that I made before. So you'll probably recognize the old designer series paper. So just, you know, add those utensils in the little pocket and make a little happy birthday. Here's another little happy birthday. Those little utensils and I put the little bow up there. And a little made with love. And this one, I used the, um, some kind of foil paper and I used the brush -o on the background. So I thought that could be for kind of a masculine kind of one. And then there's this one. Now this one I got the idea in the catalog. This is kind of the same, a similar sort of idea. So they stamped kind of diagonal and then had a little apron over top. But this, this one is from the paper that has the flowers, the grid paper that has the flowers in the corner. I'm desperately trying to find a reason not to buy this. Like it could, it could be for absolutely everything because like when you look at the stamps, there's a thank you. Um, I love baking, I love stamping, I love to barbecue, made with love, like even just that made with love to have it on your the back of your cards or, or whatnot, like, oh, I'll show you this one later, but like the utensils, the friend, dad, mom, get well soon, thinking of you, of course made with love, that would be gorgeous on every single back of your card, it's just, it's neat, I, I it's so neat, so yes, here's my other little stamping up apron and so on the inside I put there's that what is it called stamping your way to the top so I added the gingham and then love it live it and share it a little ribbon on the inside and here's my envelope way better than a text and then I also made this one 
this one I kind of thought of because last week we did that Daisy Delight where we cut out the daisy and let the paper come through kind of as a design. And so I just used the framelit like so. Well, it was the other one. Um, and yeah, I made it into a little thank you card. And this is that um, How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper and the lovely lipstick and the little heart, many thanks. And then I had some little leftover pieces. So of course I got the little pieces on the inside of the card. And then I just had some paper left over to put on the envelope. Now this is where I was like, get out. You don't need an apron at all. <laughs> this stamp set has flowers. Where'd it go? Look. It has the greenery, the leaves and such, and it has the little flowers. And those little flowers line up with the stems, of, of course. And the framelits, you get this. Oops which cuts out two little, you know, bigger flowers and two tulips. Who knew? So what I was thinking too, okay, well, okay, I'll get back to it. But anyways, these are the new in colors. I thought I would dig them out since I have nice stamp pads. And I did all them in, in the new colors. The Get Well Soon, my favorite, the wood grain texture. This is the back of the uh, floral romance um, the leaf paper and then look little friend how simple is that and then the envelope I was thinking you could make kind of like a little hanging basket somehow with like why couldn't you turn this into a little hanging basket so this is the basket you could even use the that weave, basket weave, the embossing folder. Also, I saw somebody else who, uh, somebody else had little pie, so they had a circle ran through with the um, basket weave, and it looked like a little pie. Also, Janet, I know on here, did little, um, she had a cookie sheet, a little cookie sheet with the ends kind of folded up, and then little, little cookies unreal so yeah you can make this into a hanging basket this could be the top part and have your little flowers sticking out of it from an apron set so here's my little thinking of you and I just stamped the flowers all over with the random colors and lastly this was the one that I gave you the sneak peek in hopes that you wouldn't get which stamps that we're using tonight because hello yeah here's my little flowers in Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, and the, what did I say? Mango Melody, Flirty Flamingo, and Melon Mongo. I know, right? And of course the tin tile embossing folder, and just a little flower there. What did I put inside? Oh, I just had some extra of those little cutouts. So there you have it. I had an amazing day, I tell you. It was so much fun. I'm definitely, this one's going to be a keeper, retire or not. So, if you don't have this set, stamp set and you live in Canada, I want to offer you this card class to go, now let me get rid of my name here. Now, of course, it's kind of tiny. It will be on my blog later on today, uh, probably tomorrow, because it's evening here. Um, but yeah, if you buy the um, stamp set and the framelits, I'm going to send you a free wink of Stella so you can color up your little utensils. <laughs> Plus that, you're going to get, um, I'm going to give you the tutorial on how to make that box, so the measurements um, and how to create the box for the little apron hole, candy or fun holder there and also that barbecue um, sauce what is it I don't know kind of like a tag I suppose so you'll get that 
plus uh, you'll be entered into the, our, my monthly draw for twenty dollars sh a shopping spree with me um, I will get you a handmade card with current uh, supplies and a little gift for me if you use the host code um, I will also send you the tutorial bundle um, that is made by four of us ladies from all over the world. We've come up with four different card designs from the Occasions catalog. Either Breezer's really excited to buy this or I don't know what's happening. And of course I will give you the video link so that you know how to make these cards. So contact me if this has gotten your juices flowing like it has mine. Otherwise, Thank you ladies for watching and all your encouragement tonight. It was so fun. My guess wasn't even close. Yes. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? Um, wow, Jen. Awesome time today. Love all your projects. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for watching. And thanks so much for, like I say, all your encouragement. I love that you all come back every single week and I definitely consider you all as friends. So thanks for chit-chatting tonight and I will hope to see you on Monday at 10 a.m. when we do the Creative Escape. I'll have a new layout idea for you to use with whatever stamp sets and whatever paper and ink you have. All right, thank you ladies. We'll talk to you again.